Hey guys, it's your favorite auntie and I am back with another video. We are talking about Supercent and her ex-fiance Ray. Was it a play on words or was she lying? But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All right, so let's talk about this. Supercent recently came out with a video where I guess she wanted to get out in front of the breakup. So she announced that her and Ray had broken up. And let me just back up for just a second. For those who may not be that familiar with them, maybe you've seen it on Instagram, but maybe you don't know much about them. So let me just give you a quick synopsis. So Supercent, her real name is Raynell. She's from New Orleans and she is a business mogul. She started a company called, I believe, what's a company called? The Crayon Case, where she sells makeup. And um, I really love her makeup. I don't personally have any, but I like when she applies the makeup and she does tutorials on her live. Um, I think it always comes out quite nice. Um, so now as far as her fiance, Ray, why is this such a big deal? Why is this in the headlines everywhere? Because a lot of people follow her. A lot of people um, have been following her for quite some time and kind of have been there for, uh, with her from the beginning of kind of like knowing her backstory when she before she got started. Um, and so they just kind of have fallen in love with her storytelling that she does about her real life and, um, you know, her dating life. It's just always been, you know, a public thing. And when I say public thing, I mean uh, amongst us in the community, you know what I mean? And uh, so when she started dating Raynell, I'm sorry, Raynell, that's her name. When she started dating Ray, uh, he became public because of her. Many people did not know who he was prior to her dating him. All I know about him is that he is also from Louisiana. I'm assuming he's from New Orleans, too. Um, I know he used to work at Exxon, but I ain't going to get too much deep into his business. Um, and I believe this is just what I heard. Now, everything in this video is alleged. It's in my opinion. And usually my videos are filled with some dramatizations, but I'm not going to have too much dramatization in this one because I think Supercent brought all the dramatization to uh, this video. So I don't have to add anything uh, extra on it. But I had heard that he uh, maybe was a co-owner of a club in Baton Rouge, but I believe, not Baton Rouge, I'm sorry, co-owner of a club in New Orleans. And um, so that's what I know about him. Um, and I believe, I don't know if he was married before. I've heard people say he was married before and I've heard people say he wasn't. So I don't know, but I do know he has a child. That's all I know about him. And then of course they've been in this relationship together, right? And she posts her relationship a lot on Instagram. She goes live quite a bit. I don't follow her that often every now and then. And when I say every now and then, I'm talking about like once in a blue moon, I'll pop in on an Instagram live. So I don't follow her like really close like that. Um, but I do know that she's very public with posting pictures of her and her guy. And so everybody kind of knows their story. So recently, you know, she got did a video where I guess she wanted to come out in front of someone else posting this. I don't really know. That's what it gave. But I don't really know if the people would have found out this quickly or even in this way had she not did her video. But that's neither here nor there. This is what she decided to do. She decided to make a video and basically said that they had broken up and that she understands she's in a public relationship and that people are going to talk about it and that it was not a mutual breakup and you won't see her with no one else. And um, she's not interested in talking to no one else. And that's that. So I guess, you know, he didn't appreciate her going, uh, well, it's not doing going live, but he didn't appreciate her making this video because immediately it was traveling on social media and hitting all the blogs. So then he comes along, he posts his picture and in his picture, he talks about how he's glad there's no dirt in his name on his name and his, he's walking away uh, clean and he dodged a bullet. Ooh, he said he dodged a bullet. Well, that was triggering for her. Trigger warning, trigger warning. She was like, oh, okay, you dodged a bullet. Well, I'm glad I dodged them licks. What? Everybody's like, wait, what? What licks? Girl, he hitting you? What? So then that became a thing, right? And the crazy part about it is the thing that it became, it wasn't so much like, oh my God, Super is in an abusive relationship. Is she okay? How long has he been a violent towards her? It really became, 
a laughing thing where people are like, girl, the flip, how the world, he, this man beating on you, look at him. And then everybody start calling him, you know, questioning his sexuality, you know, saying um, that <laughs> some of the stuff was just really, just really like out of pocket coming at this man um, saying, you can't fight him, girl. You can't take him. Look at him. And people, I think people had a hard time believing that this man was putting hands on her. And they were basically looking at her sideways like, girl, you can't take him. You letting this little piece of a man beat up on you. What in the world? Um, and so you didn't have a whole lot of people that I saw. There were some people that just like, oh, my God, I'm glad you left him. I can't believe, you know, you were in a domestic situation. But it was more so of people being like, dang, girl, um, how you end up how you end up letting a man like this beat you? Right. And this is just my opinion. I feel like that is why she then came out and kind of cleared that up. Well, what part of it that may have helped was the fact that he may what a day later he posted a statement that looks like he had someone uh, professionally write it for him. I'm wondering if it's actually one of super publicists that wrote that for him. Um, but wrote a statement for him, basically stating that he apologized. He should not have made that statement. He should not, he should have protected her. And uh, yeah, you know, so he's apologizing for the fact of his post, basically saying he dodged a bullet and he really loved his fiance. So in my opinion, it seemed like, oh, okay, so y'all must be getting back together. Or, uh, you know, because I can't imagine somebody accusing you of domestic violence. And instead of you defending yourself in that in in the way you're coming out and just like, I'm sorry for what I said and saying that you dodged a bullet and you're sorry uh, and that you should have protected your fiance. It didn't give, hey, let me stand up for myself. You know, people are saying that I'm an abuser. Um, I mean, he touched on it a bit, but not what you expect if somebody's accusing you of abuse. So she came out and I think that's what caused her that that and people were basically laughing at her. And I think that may have been what prompted her to uh, come out with her video. So let me show this video real quick. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it, but let's 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 look at the video real quick. So let me pull this up. All right. So let's go to I believe it's this one. Oh, okay. So let me share this one first before I um, go to the video. So let's look at this one on this particular blog, which was Everyday Houston Live. It says, Supercent accuses ex-fiance of domestic abuse, abuse. And here's where she said, I wish I would have dodged them lick. Supercent accuses ex-fiance of domestic abuse, abuse. And here's where she said, I wish I would have dodged them lick. Not acting like he ain't just fight and drag me on the interstate. Woo, child, don't gaslight me before I spill for real. And I'm not sure which interstate. Was that the interstate in New Orleans? Were y'all in New Orleans? Or was this the interstate in Florida where they live? But anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, so then she comes out with this video after he does his statement. Now words? Yes. I should have dodged him licks. Was Ray punching on me? No, I did play on words. So maybe I I I, I over exaggerate a little bit. But did you drag me? Did we fight? Yes. Yes. I mean, let's let's be real. We did. Did I play on words? Yes. So she's saying, yeah, I played on words. Played on words, or were you lying? Which one is it? Uh, because then as she starts to tell the story, she says that, you know, he knocked her glasses off of her, um, because I guess she put her, well, she had her glasses on and, um, hold on, do I even have this? Cause I'm, let me see. It, it might be in here and I can just play what she said. Okay. Let's see. Swing it on. Not bopping it. I've been real good with that. I, I, I thank me personally. I've, oh, I've been real, when I was seeking therapy, I need to seek therapy. Man, appreciate it. On my own, I've been working real good on not punching my fingers. I've been doing good. So kudos to me. So when he, when I had my glasses on and he tried to snatch my glasses off my face and me not looking, I felt like you hit me. And me feeling like you hit me, I snuck them back. Don't don't snap. All that snatching stuff for me and all that, that's you being aggressive with me. We said we weren't doing that anymore. We said we was not doing anything. We not moving off emotions. We not... We're not being aggressive with one another. Like we didn't came to that to that to that point in our relationship to where we're not gonna put our hands on each other. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that. So when you snatch something from me 
And I felt like you hit me. I'm not, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the road. We in the car. I'm looking at the road and you take my glasses off my face. So I felt like you hit me. I snuck him. Knock his vanilla out. Because don't put your hands on me. Now you trying to restrain me. We on some restraint. And you pull over on the side of the road on the arm ramp. But on my own, I've been working real good. Because you restraining me. I get out because I don't want you restraining me. When I get out the car, we on the, we, so we on the side of the interstate. When I get out so then she talks about the fact that uh, she was actually more of the aggressor. And she talked about he dragged her back uh, to the car. Girl, you're on the interstate. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, maybe he uh, maybe d he did grab her in an aggressive way. I'm not saying that at all, but you're on the interstate. Was he not trying to get you off of the interstate and get you in the car? Do you know how many times that people get hit being parked on side of the road? Especially, I'm assuming it's at night, but I could be wrong. Maybe it wasn't at night. But there's a lot of people that get hit on the side of the road. So he can't have you getting hit on the side of the road. He got to get you in the car, especially if you're talking about, no, just leave me. No, he's not about to just leave you on the side of the road. Come on now. Who wouldn't be uh, making sure that they say, hey, no, come on, let's go. You can't just be sitting out here on the road and you make it even a bigger scene by being outside the car. So I'm not in any way condoning any type of violence that may have occurred between the two. But I am I am feeling like with the video that she posted that she was the aggressor and that he may have been trying to get her back in the vehicle to keep them from both getting injured from some vehicle hitting them both. Um, and then from the car, you know, getting hit. So it's very, that's a very dangerous thing. Um, so I, I, I was disappointed with her that she would come out and make it seem like uh, he was abusing her at the time when this occurred. Now, she did say in her video that they have had episodes where they fight each other. And that's not cool at all, um, that he has a history of, you know, being aggressive with her and that there's uh, a history of them hitting on each other. But in this particular situation, it seems as if, you know, she was the aggressor. So I went to do some digging because I was like, girl, let me see. Let me find out. Was that, what was that? What was going on? So I found something on TikTok. I don't know if you guys have seen this where they said that this is the mother of Ray's child. And um, let me find this on this TikTok. Let me stop sharing for a second here. All right. So let me pull up TikTok. And um, there's this video where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get to TikTok. Hold on, let me share my screen here. So I just saw this, and I don't know how many people have seen this before, but this is news to me. All right, so let's see where's, oh, here's this TikTok video. Up in a park lot and I tell my friend Jessica, I look over to her and I say, girl, they got a crowbar down there. The egg up, bitch, come on, I'm swinging. Like, I'm playing. So she was like, double the truck. So I see him and I'm laughing. And as I'm getting out the car, I didn't pay attention. He's swinging at me full force. And he hits the top of the car and he missed me. And we just start fighting. <laughs> and she did just like what we talked about. <laughs> he got out the car swinging. <laughs> And all the time she getting out the car, he got three other friends coming out the car. And they all jumped on us. And they're jumping on us. And I'm fighting. And it's to the point this boy got his fingers digging in my eye. And he's trying to gouge my eye out. And uh, one of his, his brother, I want to say, was like, dog, she just wants a baby. So he goes and gets my son out the car and throws my baby in the car. And this pisses me off even more so. So I'm like trying to get at him. But by this time, they all done got in the car and they left. Pulls up in a parking lot. And I tell my friend Jessica, I look over to her and I say, girl, they got a crowbar down there. Be act up, bitch. Come out swinging like I'm playing. So All right. So in this video, you can see that uh, she's talking about how Ray was very violent with her um, and the altercation that they had together. And some people were saying in the comment section that she actually is an actress on Tubi. What, let me look. They said she is, in case anybody's wondering. Uh, oops. 
So they said she is, because I don't really watch Tubi like that. Oh, hold on. I had it, and then I just clicked off of it. That she's, uh, what they said her name was on Tubi. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to scroll to see. Okay. I tried to look at it, but it keeps coming off of there. Uh, but somebody put in the comments, they never believed the baby mama. Um, somebody saying that he's a little off. And, uh, oh, let me see. Also, uh, okay, they were saying that uh, when she first came out with this story, people were saying that she was bitter, she was jealous, um, and that she tried to warn uh, Super Scent about him. And Super basically was saying that she also was a hater and that she was jealous. But I'm sure she's seeing now. I'm sure she didn't see too much um, after she started dating him, I would think. Oh, they said her name is Dirty D from, they said the plug chick from Dirty D on uh, Tubi. So if anybody's like, oh, she looks familiar because I didn't, I didn't, I've never seen her before. So um, looks like they have a history of just being violent towards one another. So a lot of people wanted to come to her come to the people that wanted to come to super's defense immediately was like whoa when she came out was like oh i just played on words and then you had people coming out trying to apologize to ray for thinking that he was an abuser but then it's like whoa hold up with your apology now he may not have been abusive in that particular situation but looks like he may have had a history of abuse in the past now i also did a little bit more digging too because i just was really curious Hey, they made it public. So I'm like, listen, y'all made it public. Nobody had to know this. So since you made it public, I'm going to look into it. So I was seeing that someone that um, I follow is uh, friends with his family. And this person was saying that uh, she is the problem in the relationship, that she is the aggressor, but it's his family. So they that may be what they believe, but that she is the issue. She's violent. Um, and that they also cleared up the fact that he is not gay because people were saying that about him. They said he really is not. Um, I know he may come across looking a little feminine, but I just want to add that in that that was said. And from what I know of some people that know of him is that he's not. He's always only dated women. But yeah, so that's that. But um, yeah, so they were not fans of her because they were like, no, she's an aggressive person. And she's always fought me. And it was like, she used to fight Louis, um, her ex. Um, was she engaged to Louis? She might've been, I don't know. But she used to fight him and she has a history of fighting. Well, she kind of said that herself, that she has a history of fighting guys. So I really hope that they both, you know, get the therapy that they need. I think they'll probably get back together. I really do. It seems like she does get back with her guys uh, when they break up, like, you know, she went back to Louis. So I wouldn't be surprised if they end up getting back together. Do y'all remember? Can I be messy for just a second? Let me be messy for just a second. Do y'all remember this? Do y'all remember when um Super used to date? I got to I got to pull this up for y'all. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, look, I just came across the video of their engagement. Hold on, let's play that for a second, y'all. Y'all remember this? Oh I uh have it. It is that engagement though. I, I really like it. When you gave me something I don't really feel. But you knew that already When I found you on the ground You were dying Now you call me to my yard Uninvited Can you see me on the edge I'm a naughty If the world was any Would you cry or would you try to get me Tell me now I want you to be clear Tell me now I need you to be clear I will wait for you, for you. I will wait for you. 
Oh my god. Look, you just never know what people are going through in a relationship because oftentimes people will put some music over some pictures and uh, or a video and have you thinking that their goals. You just never know. But listen, let me just be messy for just a second. Do y'all remember? Oh, let's see if I see it. Do y'all remember? Ooh, maybe it's down here. When uh, this guy, yeah. Y'all remember, oh, <laughs> Sage the Gemini. Man, they dated for like 2.5 seconds though. And everybody was calling him a clout chaser. And we all knew he had issues because he used to date Jordan Sparks. So a lot of people was just like, oh, you just want to be with her for clout. You have nothing going on in your life. And that's why you're dating, you're dating her. And he wrote this long post about, you know, celebrity is not what you think it is. And people don't realize uh, you can get to know a person and how he's going to love her for life and all that. And it wasn't even, but five seconds later and they were, they were not together anymore. Well, that is all for this video, but I do want to know. I want my fellas to chime in. I want you guys to tell me my uncles and my nephews that come to my channel. I appreciate you guys in the comment section. I really want you guys to tell me what you think about this. The fact that, uh, you know, she initially accused him of being abusive um, in this situation that he was punching her when the incident happened in the car. But then it turns out maybe he does have some aggression and some issues. But I want to know what my fellas think about that. Um, because you know, you have to be careful about domestic abuse, you know, when you, when you accuse someone of that, that you could just ruin their reputation for life. Right. Cause you want to believe the woman. You want to know that when she says that she's been abused, that she's been abused and you don't want nobody playing on words when it comes to domestic abuse. So let my fe fellas, let me know what you guys think about this story. And of course my nieces and my other aunts, y'all go ahead and comment as well. What you think about this story. And um, I appreciate all those who are rocking with me and following my content. And those of you, if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel and I will chat with you guys in the next video.